Today's video showcases these three smoking pipes that I created. These are my first. Uh, if you are interested, these two will be up for sale. You can look in the description of the video for more information about those. Otherwise, I'm just going to present to you how, they're, how they were made and uh, what they're made of. So these two represent uh, Cthulhu. They were made uh, around the same exact same pattern. However, as you can see on this picture, uh, the Morta one did uh, have uh, an accident. Morta, which is a 7,000 year old uh, bog wood, uh, bog oak, is uh, very fragile. So you never know what's going to happen with it. It, it is prone to splitting. And, pieces might fly off because it's very old so I had to change the design if you can see the, the, the column on the, on the back I just removed it and uh, made it uh, quite uh, shorter and they had a shorter um, tentacle as well this one is made uh, as I mentioned out of mortar which is a 7000 years old uh, petrified wood that is aging uh, under uh, salted water without oxygen. That's why it's uh, naturally black. It's not uh, taint, uh, stain, it's natural wood color. And this one is made out of cherry wood. As we can see, it has um, different uh, grain. It has a, a darker streak in the front and uh, on the side, you can see the darker streak that goes there. There's also um, this uh, small patterns here, makes it look like a natural skin for this character. This one is very similar, it's uh, pretty much the same except for the shorter tentacle. The shape of the head is a bit different, but not huge difference. And uh, this one is also a bit uh, deeper. It's, uh, it's uh, taller and the hole is a bit deeper because I had more material. The Morta came in with a smaller block, so I had to do it uh, smaller. This one is just, uh, I had an idea about a huge giant maw and the block of uh, wood that I had was quite big. So I was thinking about making a really round one that would be uh, quite heavy. It's made of out of olive wood, so all of this is not painted. It's the natural uh, wood. It has very interesting, uh, interesting uh, stripes. I did paint the teeth because I wanted to have some contrast and these uh, stitches as well. I uh, tried to uh, imitate uh, leather. The other two also have uh, paint on the eyes only. This one it's quite uh, easy to see. The other one it's black on black, so it's not really uh, easy to see, but it's a different uh, sheen. The mouthpiece uh, for these are made out of acrylic. I did these myself. It's uh, an imitation uh, tortoise shell. For this one, it's ebonite, which is a uh, vulcanized rubber. Um, the same thing that uh, piano keys are, ma are made of. The finish on all of them is uh, uh, finish. First, I added a coat of mineral oil and uh, beeswax, just to have it uh, penetrate the, the wood so that it's hydrated. And then I finish them with the art wax finish which is a carnival wax which is really hard and uh, with uh, a buffer with heat it's uh, fused onto the, the, the finish so it's it's a satin finish with a, a, a slight sheen but it's um, it feels really nice in the end uh, the like i said these are my first so there are some flaws on it for example um, it might not be super easy to see, but the technique I used was not fully refined and there's a slight 
uh, discrepancy between the the all inside and um, the 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 stem that makes it a bit crooked. It's not super crooked, but we can see just a slight angle, maybe half a degree. It's the same thing on the, this one as well. So. Uh, I found a way to not add these on the next ones, but it's not super... Uh, if you don't know about it, it's not super easy to see. Another flaw that I found, I, they're not super snug. They're snug enough that they all, but I wanted to be more snug, like for this one. It's really... Uh, it's, it's really more of a good friction fit, but... Um, these two they're not super tight so if I had to change one thing the, for the next one was to would be to make these more tight I did not expect uh, the wood to compress that much when I did them so this is the these are the only flaws that I found I'm going to show them a bit closer to the camera on all angles. The, the the ball is about uh, an inch and a quarter, a three quarter deep, so it's actually a big ball if you want to smoke for a long time. Try to get um, the camera to pick up, but it's uh, this one was a, is not for sale. It's a commission work that uh, someone asked for me to do. He wanted it to be black on black, so that's why it's a black stem with a black um, wood. So it's not super easy for the camera to see all the <coughs> the details, but you can still see the grain of the mortar. It's um, it's oak. It's really old oak, so they it's you can see all the open pores of the of the wood. It's also, it, it does have nice uh, grain pattern. It's straight, pretty much that way. But from the the, the side, you can see really uh, interesting patterns. So like I said, these two are up for sale. If you're interested, uh, you can go on my website. There's a link in the description of this video. And if you want to, to have me to make a custom one for you, any uh, pattern of pipes and also any type of sculpture on the pipe, um, on the website, there's a form where you can submit for uh, commission work. So like this one, if you want, if you have an idea in mind, you can send me sketches or photograph, or you can just send me an idea and I will do the sketches for you. Uh, that's it for today. Um, if you like this video, please um, leave a comment and uh, subscribe to my channel. Thank you. Bye.